Thank you very much for staying with us. I still have my guest in the studio, uh, Honorable Moses Na Ekbeth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, you were talking on the border closure before we went on that yeah, break. Yeah, if we get what we are supposed to do right, there will be no need closing the borders. There are other options. You understand me? Because we have, what, we have our own goods too that needs to, to go, get out of the country and then bring in foreign, um, foreign uh, income to us. So if we close our borders, there will be retaliation. So what I expect this government to do is to make sure that the security agencies do what they are supposed to do. You know, you cannot, these are tendencies of an authoritarian leadership. So we need to make sure that these things, it's, it's sickening, we, it's not right. We need to make sure we do things in a civilized way. And also, let me jump on the arrow if I kneeling down to beg the people. Why, why should Nigerians be acting drama? If this young man that came to power on a platter of gold could not perform in the past four years, and you are now coming to kneel down to beg for him to be given another four years, for goodness sake, what is he going to do? Because in, in politics, your first four years is a, a, a period of impression. You need to make impressions in the heart of the people. If somebody has been in power for the past four years and never made any impression, the second four years is to, supposed to be a period of consolidation and retirement, you know, <laughs> let me just put it that way, <laughs> retirement plan. So this guy is going for a retirement plan. He has no plan for the people of Kogi. And I just hope that the people of Kogi state will not be deceived by the kneeling down of, um, of um, um, Aerofire. Aerofire. This is political scam. Okay, before we go to the other papers, I want no. to take your quick thoughts on Dakolo's rape case, MT says caught. Um, reps, okay, operation, positive identification, but that Dakolo rape, the court has struck it out. Mm, yeah, they said they struck it out that is status bad. You know, the, the case didn't come up when it's supposed to come up. So, uh, you know, there are processes in, in law. So if they didn't file the case when they were supposed to file it, the court didn't say that he's, he's innocent. But all they're saying is that it, this case is status bad. It has passed the period when you're supposed to, to come up with this matter. What would, be, what would be her options now, in your opinion? Should she still continue with the legal battle? I think she should leave it. it. She should just forget it and, and let's leave it to conscience. And if she believes, uh, leave it to God to, to do the rest. Because right now, legally, she cannot be remedied. All right, let's uh, take a look at the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, we also have the Guardian here. I, I don't know if we have uh, um, more time, but let's rush through this one quickly. Court knocks APC out of bias governorship polls. Uh, a couple of riders to that story. At the very top, you're looking at APC State Chairman Bako Shomole urge APC Governors Forum to sack DG. Uh, we skip to where we have OPEC hints of drop in Nigeria's oil output. And then at the very bottom of the paper, we have the Biasakugi poll again captured here. Ghost walkers, ICPC grills 59 directors over 3 billion naira transfer, faults ASU on IPPIS. Go on with planned OPI, reps tell army. FG plans new $800 million seaport in Wari. That's according to uh, Minister Amechi out there. And just beside it, you have the Naira Watch. You also have at the top of it, NPC. NNPC secures $1.16 million grant from USTDA for 1,350 megawatt power plant. Uh, the back of the paper is sports as usual, but let's get um, your thoughts here before we go on. Yeah, uh, what I quickly want to jump on is um, the the issue of um, the issue of um, the operation positive identification. You know, I don't know why in this country we like to put the cart before uh, the horse. You are saying people should bring to identify themselves, but you have not given the people the the enough time to to get this positive ID. Even those that have gone for the national identification, it's so strenuous. So what I expect the rep to have done is to give this positive identification, maybe like a year period, and ask the, the guys in charge of um, national ID card to make sure that these things, you know, these things become so easy to get so that nobody will have any excuse not to have an identification when they are going out. So, but right now, for the fact that they have given the army go ahead to carry out this operation, it's going to, it's going to cause a lot of human rights abuses because not every Nigerian has the, uh, the opportunity 
to have this um, any form of um, valid identification and number two how do you identify a valid identification will the army be going about with a computer set to plug in the details to make sure that those id cards are authentic and valid so those are the things you can do somebody can go to the to a computer center and then forge a document and be carrying it about so there is no form they, they, you will be surprised that there will be no technology that is attached to this process because normally if you go with an id card they're supposed to plug in your id number to bring out your information to make sure that this at this uh, this id card is authentic and valid that won't be happening because they don't have the technology to do it all right, the Guardian newspaper, fear of violence as police deploy 66,241 for Bayelsa Kogi elections. That's uh, on the front page. There you have it. Uh, we also have a picture, Nigerians under the ages of Take It Back movement and Free Shore are now guarded in front of the official residence of the Nigerian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom that demands the release of Omoyele Shawari. Okay, there seemed to be a movement uh, on that one. Nigerians in UK protest. There's a little caption by the side of that photograph. If you go to the bottom, you will see court dismisses Busola's case against uh, Koza Pasta. I've uh, touched on that. Fire raises four buildings, three shops in Ogun. Senate introduces Southwest Development Commission bill amends procurement law uh, on the back page we have the guardian sports so we'll see if we have time we'll come to that but let's look at this so this headline has come up in some of the papers i'd like you to touch on it senate introduces southwest development commission bill yeah i was even that's what i was even going to touch on you see the problem we should be we we like to treat the symptoms rather than to check what is the cause of this problem what we should be talking about is restructuring of this country. It's not talking about, we shouldn't be talking about development commission of different zones. We should be talking about how we can restructure this country so that this country can become functional. Is that conversation still valid? Because it seems there's been, you know, water has been poured over it. The intensity of the conversation, let's say a year or less than that mm. ago, has, you know, diminished. Yeah, it was a political, it, it, it became a political talking point. But nevertheless, because of the deception of the people in power. They want to keep perpetuating the system that brought them in. Look, there are two things we should be discussing now. We should be discussing about um, um, restructuring of the country and also electoral reforms. But those two important German topics have been watered down. So if we restructure this country, every region should be able to manage whatever they have. There will be no need for talking about one commission or the other. When we restructure this country, we disband the um, NDDC, we disband other commissions and let each, uh, each uh, region take care of themselves. All right, I guess uh, that's where we're going to leave it for the Guardian newspaper and just take a quick swipe through the headlines on um, complete sports. Um, Osime bring on uh, Lesotho. That's... Um, uh, for you on the front page. Eagles Ford can't wait uh, for the Liquana clash on Sunday. Uh, we also have something on Bene Coach. No shame in losing to Nigeria. That's another one. Um, AC Milan free up 60 million euros for Ibramovic. Raul targets 2021 African glory with Eagles. So that's about uh, some of the headlines for you on the front page of Complete Sports. Is there anyone you would like to touch on quickly <laughs> yeah, for yeah. wrapping up? So. Uh, well, um, the issue of Giroud and uh, Giroud on uh, planning a showdown talk with Chelsea. You know, I'm a Chelsea fan, okay. and um, I think he he's been rendered um, in, uh, redundant in Chelsea. I think he should seek um, um, his career elsewhere. I think he would do. He may he may succeed elsewhere, and also the hundred million. I mean, the sixty million for Ibrahimovic. Well, I think if he can deliver for AC Milan because they are not really doing well, I think it will be a good one. All right. Mm. Thank you very much for spending your money with us, uh, making pleasure. sense of these headlines. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and you, thanks for watching. Always a pleasure to know you're on the other side of the screen. We'll see you again on Monday. In the meantime, have yourselves a lovely weekend.